All right, brothers and sisters, how we doing this morning? Hopefully everybody doing wonderful. I want to get into a discussion, especially for the brothers. This this discussion is mainly for the brothers. Uh, hopefully you brothers can receive this, man. If not, it is what it is. You know, uh, again, uh, this is not judgment, man. This is correction. This is uh, edification. Uh, hopefully you guys receive it with, 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 with that spirit. If not, it is what it is. But anyway, man, before I get into this discussion, man, um, I'd like to give all glory and honor to the hell for the Yahweh and to the Saint Yahweh Shai. I'd like to also say uh, peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that's trying to push this truth out in sincerity, trying to wake up the very elect. Okay, so dealing with this subject, man, this subject matter, man, is about men ruling their house. The brothers, the men, are, the men ruling their house. So, let's go to 1 Timothy. Let's go to 1 Timothy 3. 1 Timothy 3 and verse 5. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Let that marinate for a minute. If you cannot rule your own house, how can you take care of the church of God? And ruling your house is just not paying bills. Ruling your house is just not paying bills. Are you able to lead your family by the principles of the Bible? When I say the principles of the Bible, that means no paganism, especially this time of year, dealing with this so-called holiday. No paganism. You know what I'm saying? What about the dietary law? What about the dietary law? Or, or Are you allowing your wife to bring pork into your house? You know what I'm saying? Or uh, 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 catfish, things of that nature, you know, unclean, unclean foods into your house. Are you allowing your children to tell you what they're gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Whether it's whether it's you know dealing with um what they want for Christmas. You know, and BS like that. You know, these pagan holidays. Are you going? Or are you going to condone condone that spirit? Or are you going to be man enough to sit down and tell your children what is Christmas and these holidays really about? What are they really about? That's what a man does. A man just don't throw money at a problem. He addresses it. He faces it. Tell you what, let's get to church. Let's get to church of God. Let's, let's go to the definition in the Bible. We're going to get this here. The church. The people of God. Know what the church is? The people of God. That's Israel. It's the northern and the southern kingdom coming into one fold. The people of God. Right? Those destined to inherit the kingdom of God. So when the scripture in 1 Timothy is telling you about can you rule your house? If you can't rule your house, you cannot rule the kingdom of or the church of God. You cannot rule the kingdom. If you cannot rule your house, you cannot rule the kingdom of God. Because you're going to allow all kind of adultery, paganism. You're going to let all this foolishness, all these iniquities into the kingdom. You're not, you, you know... You are scared to deal with the problems with your wife, your kids, your mother, your sister, your father, on and so so on and so forth. You are scared to deal with those problems according to this book. Again, it's not about being self-righteous. We all fall short, but those that fall, they get up and they they honor somebody giving them reproof and correction. They, they, they understand that. They don't get into their feelings. I tell you what, because we're dealing with the men. Let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel 40, 34, my bad. 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastures, or men, and I am your God, 
says the Lord God. So the flocks of his pastures are men. So when he's talking in these scriptures, he's mainly dealing with the men. Have you ever dealt with the sisters before? Yes, he's dealt with the sisters. But mainly he's dealing with the men. But just because you have a penis between your leg don't make you a man. Just because you got babies running around don't make you a man. A man stand on the principles. You know what I'm saying? It was good, like I said, go back into moral. The Bible have moral law. You know what I'm saying? The Bible have dietary law. The Bible have ceremonial law. You know, there's a law on judgment. There's sacrificial law. These are laws that were given to the children of Israel by the Most High. Are you willing to stand on this book? If you're not, just say that. You ain't got a front. You ain't got a front. But because again, the Bible is always going to shine light on what, what, where you put your heart at. Like the scripture says, choose ye today who you serve. Choose who you're willing to serve. If you will take a little effort that you put behind the BS that you do, and you put behind these, this book, you know, you can make not just your your little your little house or your little your little piece of the kingdom right. You will make the whole kingdom right. But you don't realize that your piece of the pie is affecting the whole kingdom. So if you can't rule your house, you know one day what's gonna happen is another man's gonna rule your house. One way or the other, the, another man is going to rule your house. Because essentially, another man is already ruling your house. The so-called white man. Because you're going to go out there, you're going to buy all this bullshit, excuse my French, and you're going to pay homage to him at the end of the day. You're going to go into, you're going to go into debt behind paying homage to something that benefits him, not you. Again, I said I'm going to keep it a buck. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Really don't care. All right, let's get, let's get, let's gonna get one more scripture, man. Cause I'm gonna shut this down. We know I'm not gonna do this all day. I'm just gonna, uh, I just wanna make this real short. Anyway, we're gonna go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah three, and we're going to get verse twelve. And for my people, children are their oppressors. Again, because you're scared to deal with your kids. You're scared to talk to your kids. And tell your kids about the dietary law, about the moral law, you know what I'm saying, about the uh, 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 ceremonial law. And and all these holidays, man, are really to make mockery of you. You don't even get it. You don't even get it. You know, you're going to let this man educate and pollute your children in his system. And then, you know what they're going to do? They're going to do the same cycle. They're going to perpetuate the same ideology and the same cycle into their children. Let me go ahead and finish this here. And women rule over them. Your wives, your wives rule over you. Again, man. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to error, and destroy the way of thy path. Your wife rule over you because you're scared to talk to her and lead your wife according to the Bible. You say you got balls? Man up. Do what thus says the Lord. Not thus says your wife. But again, man, it is what it is, man. You know, if you mad at the messenger, that just proves the point either. That, that, that proved the point right there also. <laughs> if you mad with the messenger, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Face your demons. With that being said, hey man, peace, love, shalom.